of contracts and evasion of accountability. B, willfully interfering in the procurement processes and the award of tenders. C, skewed tender awards to various contractors at in inflated rates and in collusion with fraudulent contractors and suppliers. D, irregular implementation of various programs in the county. And E, intentionally and negligently presiding of a massive theft of county public funds as evidenced by the Auditor General's report for the financial year ended 30th June 2023, which raised red flags over various projects. Five, on 15th August 2023, the Governor compensated the victims of Londiani accident from the county emergency funds to cover up for the funds raised by the public and misappropriated by a committee he had formed to steer the funds drive. And without a cogent explanation of how the funds publicly raised for the victims had been expended. Allegation number two, misappropriating and or abetting misappropriation of publicly raised funds. That on various occasions, on various dates between 4th July 2023 and 9th July 2023, the governor grossly violated the provisions of Articles 10, 73 and 75 of the Constitution and sections 29 and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012 by A, overseeing misappropriation of the funds raised for the victims of the horrendous Londiani Junction accident tragedy in which over Kenya shillings 9 million of, public, of publicly raised funds were lost. B, reneging on his undertakings to implement the report of the county assembly's ad hoc committee formed to probe the misappropriation of funds meant for the victims of the accident. There is evidence that the governor filed a suit and or supported a suit by those implicated in the report of the county assembly's ad hoc committee in Kericho ELRC petition number E006 of 2023, Dr. Wesley Bohr and five others versus the governor, Kericho County government and others and Kericho ELRC petition number E014 of 2023, Victor Tum and others versus the governor Kericho County and others. C, being personally and directly complicit in the flawed award of direct tenders for service providers during the fundraiser and the requiem mass of the victims of the accident. D, the county governor has, in this regard, committed numerous and various acts in the course of his duties that are contrary to and in violation of the Constitution and the laws of Kenya. This include, one, the authenticity of various payments made cannot be confirmed. The fact that the exact amount of money expended from the sum collected during the fundraiser points to impropriety and suggests a clear fraud on those whom the funds ought to have benefited. Two, a total of Kenya shillings 13,682,660 was collected at the fundraiser. A sum of Kenya shillings 423,000 was purportedly expended as pastors facilitation, transport refund, field preparation, lunches and refreshments, printing, publishing and radio announcements. Other payments that were approved from the fund were Kericho County Referral Hospital, Kenya Shillings 2,037,524, Londiani Hospital, Kenya Shillings 1,534,190, Supertix Limited, Kenya Shillings 2,945,000, Supershine Limited, Kenya Shillings 411,000. Ray's Hospital, Kenya Shillings 100,000. County Commissioner's Fuel, Kenya Shillings 300,000, etc. Three, that when Kenyans from all walks of life voluntarily made contributions to aid the victims of the tragedy, it was never intended or anticipated that the funds would be misappropriated with the blessings of the governor who had a higher calling to ensure the money is accounted for to the last coin and on whom the people bestowed their trust. Four, 
The governor has issued contradictory statements in so far as the use of the funds is concerned. The contradictory statements point to his being complicit in the matter. And five, while the governor is on record indicating that the medical bills for all the victims would be waived and taken care of by the county government, it is not clear why money had to be paid out from the fund collected to various public hospitals against the express and unequivocal representations of the governor. E, by his acts of omission and commission, the governor has grossly violated the provisions of Article 75 of the Constitution, which demands that a state officer shall, whether in private or in public, behave in a manner that avoids conflict of interest between personal interests and public or official interests, or compromises public interest in favor of personal interest. F, by overseeing the misappropriation of the funds aimed at assisting the victims of the accident, the governor violated Article 73.2, which demands from, his, from him selfless service based solely on public interest, demonstrated by honesty in the execution of his duties, accountability to the public for decisions and actions, and discipline and commitment in service. G, by allowing himself to be a master of double speak in such a grave matter that shook the conscience of the nation, the governor violated Article 73. 1A, Roman 2 and 3 of the Constitution, which demand that he at all times demonstrates respect to the people and brings honor and dignity to the office he holds. H, by allowing himself and senior officials close to him to benefit from the funds, the governor violated Article 76 2B of the Constitution, which prohibits a state officer from accepting a benefit in circumstances that compromise the integrity of the state officer. And I, by failing to ensure that decision making in the executive office of the county governor are not influenced by, corru by corruption, nepotism, and other callous and improper motives, the governor has failed to exercise objectivity and impartiality, thus violating Article 73, 2B of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoech Mutai, how do you plead to ground one, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Ground two, abuse of office. The particulars of this ground are as follows. Allegation one, illegal appointments, unlawful dismissals and transfers, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of county public service. That the governor has variously engaged in one, gross misconduct, and two, gross violations of Articles 10, 73, 75, 232, 235, and 236 of the Constitution. Three, gross violation of Section 17 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, Sections 55, 59, 59A, 60, 62, 63, 64, and 65 of the County Governments Act. Section 4 of the Public Appointments Bracket County Assembly's Approval Act 2017 and variously abused his office by A. Illegally appointing one Mrs. Alice Bett, now a judge of the High Court, as the county attorney when there was a substantive office holder, an act which the Employment and Labor Relations Court, the Honorable Lady Justice Wasilwa, affirmed was irregular, unprocedural, and unlawful in the case of Sang versus Governor Kericho County and two others, petition number E001 of 2023. In that case, the governor was found by the court to be in gross violation of Article 73 and 232 of the Constitution, his actions found to be illegal and unconstitutional, and ordered to pay Kenya shillings two million and costs personally. The governor has therefore been already adjudged to be in gross violation of the law, and all the assembly and the senate are called upon to do is to remove him by impeachment. B, causing the advertisement of the positions of doctors, nurses, early childhood education teachers, just to endear himself politically when he knew the county government did not have the capacity to hire. The applicants were subsequently not shortlisted, nor the alleged vac vacancies filled up. C, 
illegally deploying health staff vied notice dated 22nd of July 2024 without any justification, authority, and involvement of the county service board, thus creating a crisis in the health sector. And D, illegally appointing Mr. George Kipngeno Kirer as the chief officer for finance and forwarding his name to the county assembly for vetting and approval when there was a substantive of his holder in the, in the name of Ms. Jacqueline C. Langat and the vacancy had not arisen. Allegation two, subversion, discrediting, and impeding of the oversight role of the county assembly. On 3rd September 2024, the governor engaged in gross misconduct and grossly violated the provisions of Articles 10, 73, 75, 174, and 185, 3 of the Constitution, and abused his office by writing to the speaker, purporting to direct the speaker on, inter alia, the timelines the speaker should give the chief officers who are summoned by the assembly for questioning in exercise of the assembly's oversight mandate. The Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoech Mutai, how do you plead to ground two, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Ground three, gross misconduct. Particulars of this ground are as follows. Legation, bullying, incitement, vilification, and indecent sexual conduct. On various occasions, the governor has repeatedly engaged in one, gross misconduct, and two, gross violation of the provisions of Article 10, 73, and 75 of the Constitution, and Sections 29 and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act by A, publicly vilifying the residents of Kericho County with divergent views. A case in point is a Mr. Marwa from Londiani, who, while attending an event in Londiani on 4th March 2024, the governor publicly disparaged, demeaned, and undermined, and even threatened to use the services of the police officer assigned to him to manhandle him. Similarly, on 24th of August 2023, the governor, while commissioning a renal unit and a bulk liquid oxygen plant at Capcatet Sub-County Hospital, the governor openly vilified, slighted, and berated the Honorable Amos Birir, MCA Capcatet Ward, who had not attended the event, describing him as mentally blind and stupid. B, further on 15th of August 2023, while addressing the press to counter the findings of the ad hoc Committee of the County Assembly on Londiani Accident, the governor spitefully referred to the members of the said ad hoc committee as the funeral committee. C, the governor has been operating with impunity as though he is above the law. On the second day of his being sworn into the office, the governor led a mob to invade a private land owned by one Mr. Jos jo Josea Kiplangat Kogo within Kericho town and tore down the fence. The governor has since designated the subject land as an illegal dump site operated by the county government without the consent of the registered proprietor. National Environment Management Authority, NEMA approval, gazettement by the county designating the parcel as a dump site, and in total disregard of a court order issued by the Environment and Land Court in the case of Kericho, in Kericho, in ELC petition number E001 of 2022, Josea Kiplangat Kogo versus County Government of Kericho. The governor has also obstructed the enforcement of the orders by the police administration. The actions are illegal, contempt contemptuous to the authority and dignity of the court and the rule of law, unethical and demeaning the office of the governor of the office the governor holds. Further, as a result of the illegal actions of the governor, the county was condemned to pay the costs. D, there are numerous complaints of governor's indecent and, natural, and unnatural sexual behavior by female partners who accuse the governor of, for instance, forcing them to unconsented anal sex, dangerous and unprotected sex, ETC. 
the governor, e, the governor has persistently intimidated, molested, harassed county officers who do not sing to his tune, leaving officers jittery and creating an atmosphere of fear, uncertainty and despondency in the county and thus creating a toxic work environment. This violates the provisions of sections 11 and 13 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. F, the governor has persistently used divisive and unbecoming language which undermines the office he holds contrary to section 8 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. G, the governor has violated Article 75 1 of the Constitution by drawing hefty allowances under salary while failing to diligently report to work to the, huge, to the huge detriment of the discharge of his mandate as a governor and the performance of his functions. H, the acts of the governor enumerated above have collectively brought dishonor and disrepute into the office of the governor in violation of Chapter 6 of the Constitution and the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. The Honorable Dr. Eric Kipkoech Mutai, how do you plead to ground three? Guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. For record purposes, my name is Elias Mutuma, appearing for the County Assembly of Kericho. I have two applications to make on preliminary basis. One, Mr. Speaker, sir, and honorable senators, is that you will notice from the presentations and the...